This might look like any other ship docked and ready to take its load of tourists on a day cruise. However, this 1964 former Danish Royal Navy ship is embarking on an historic journey to break the Israeli siege on the one and a half million Palestinians living in Gaza. The ship will be part of the Freedom Flotilla, the largest internationally coordinated effort to break the Israeli siege on Gaza. The flotilla consists of four cargo ships and five passenger boats. It will carry badly needed building material as well as school and medical supplies. The ships will carry over 600 activists and human rights campaigners from 40 countries. The diversity of the passengers make this seemingly high sea adventure a quite interesting and rewarding experience for those taking part. The passengers include one former American colonel and diplomat who quit her job at the U.S. Department of State in protest over the U.S. war in Iraq. Among the passengers, a survivor of the USS Liberty, an American warship that was attacked by the Israeli Air Force, where tens of American sailors were killed. An Italian opera singer, a Swedish novelist, award-winning journalists, documentary filmmakers, and a school teacher are among the Freedom Flotilla passengers. They are all united by one goal, and that is to end one of the worst man-made disasters in the modern age, where one and a half million Palestinians live in the world's largest open-air prison called Gaza. They also seek to challenge the Israeli policy of occupation, abuse, and subjugation of the Palestinian people. The Freedom Flotilla will not only break the Israeli siege on Gaza, it will also give that part of Palestine one of the first elements of real sovereignty, where cargo ships will dock at the Gaza port without seeking the Israeli occupation's permission. The first time in over 40 years such an attempt is made.